Well, that turn ended up not being a problem at all. It sure looked like it was going to be a problem, but let's get rolling. stacked in her favor and so we put her in the driver's seat the problem is the road didn't stay stacked in her favor we hit construction zones we started hitting mountains we hit narrowed lanes um, a little bit of everything so she's kind of had a, a rough go of it but we found a rest stop up here in the next three miles and I'll I'll take over. It makes a big difference in the stress of my day. Uh, I don't mind doing all of the driving, but if but if she can, like today, we were doing about a 420 mile day, and she did about 60 to 80 miles here, kind of in the middle of my day, and that sure helps a lot. She's a big help. <laughs> Gigi's a big help too. Oh, thank you. I like it, Gigi. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Girls were in charge. <laughs> Cindy's about to do the bridge. She's got it. Can you hold my hand? Oh. Uh, no. <laughs> Drive. The Missouri River. It looks a little flooded. It? It's flooded right oh, there and wow. we aren't even at the river yet. Hey, you don't look. Oh, and shut up. Big truck and all, we made it. Another fairly long day driving, about 420 miles or so. We're within about 720 miles of home, which is fantastic. The long driving days in a class A versus our experience with a truck and a travel trailer. I am not getting worn out by driving long days back to back to back to back. Um, not the way I did in a truck. It has mostly advantages, has a few cons. We are at Graham Cave State Park in Missouri between Columbia and um, St. Louis. The cave looks like it's gonna be very interesting. I had my had my doubts as we were driving in. Turned out to be very nice, well-kept. I'll, I'll show you the outside later. 
I'm not going to go outside right now because we had an audience while we were setting up, which happens. And the audience is still out there talking to Gigi. We did figure that on a Monday we would have zero trouble getting a site in a state park. And we were very lucky that we got, uh, I think there's one site that would have worked for us. Get him. <laughs> Oh, well, good morning, everyone. I never did get around to showing you the outside of the park. Um, here's our site, and um, worked out really nice you can see as I, I'll turn around real slowly but uh, well the campgrounds about empty now it really was a, a beautiful campground um, nice grassy areas uh, look at this so that's sort of the interior of the loop I've noticed this more with the motorhome than I did with um, did with a travel trailer but you see how all of these sites are going downhill to the street um, yeah, at first glance, this looks like a great site, but when you really look at it, your front wheels are going to have to be up on probably six inches of block. I, I try to avoid that, so I think I think we got lucky here. We, we just barely squeezed in. Uh, one advantage of traveling with a little Honda is that we fit in the front of sites often. Contrary to popular uh, belief, I'm in a 34-foot Class A have not had any problems in state parks on this entire trip. In contrast, I've seen just last night, a guy in a travel trailer here was parked his travel trailer in one of these sites. And then he had to go put his truck in the overflow parking because truck and trailer together combined were longer than us. You know, size, yeah, I don't feel, I don't feel much issue here. We had this guy in the campground when we first pulled up, one, a fellow camper, and we were riding by looking for the right site and he he doesn't say hello he says uh, good luck fitting that thing in one of these sites I think there's this thing about large class A's that uh, people people have that you know why'd you come in here sort of an attitude uh, at least that's what I feel like I'm picking up Graham Cave is significant because they actually found relics of not only Native American Indians in it, but also uh, Ice Age era uh, human evidence. We're not going to go to it. It's, it's five minutes across the park to it, but we're not going to go to it. Reason why. Talked to several people here in the park, including the host. So the camp host's comment was, what you see in the brochure is what you get. And you can't go in it, you can't, uh, you just look from the edge. So here's the brochure, and uh, that's what it looks like. It's about 100 feet in width, um, supposed to be 50, 60 feet high. I can actually see in the picture, there's a, uh, there's a, there's a chain link fence across the opening. Then he adds, he says, well, it's about a 10 minute hike, but all 10 minutes are up the side of a hill. And so, all that combined, we're going to skip good old Graham Cave State Park. Well, not skip it. We slept in it, but we're going to skip the cave. Gigi, what did you think of Graham Cave State Park? I didn't go. <laughs> no, you didn't, huh? I don't think I can make it. <laughs> no, I don't think we're going to go either. Okay, but that... You don't know what you're missing. Well, look at the picture closely. It's very inviting. Yeah, but do you see what's across the opening? Look closely. Is that a fence? There's a chain link fence across the opening. Well, they don't want people in there. So I'm not going to walk up a hill to go. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and start putting our stuff together and just roll.
once again, we have broken our wire here. If you remember back many episodes ago, this thing was made with such thin copper wire that it just keeps coming unhooked. And what, three or four times on the yep. trip, I've had to do this. Yep. And, um, and that wire, we keep loosening it and I don't know. We got a lot of slack in the wire. I think we have determined that using the car to pull back to lock these bars is probably the better way to do it. Also, making sure we're completely level. So, but we're very gentle because the car could break something. So I'm signaling Cindy to go in reverse. And we should keep going. All right, I think we saw these little red things move. I think we're locked. If not, we're really close and I think the motorhome will do it from there. Now we have a process for the Honda. Make sure my air is off. The lights are off. She goes through each gear for about three to five seconds. Come out of drive into neutral and give it, you give it like three minutes in neutral? Or, yeah, we don't do that. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, it's been running a while, so that transmission fluid is usually moved around pretty good. And that's it. We, you know, in eight weeks, we haven't really gotten our system down. The tow bar thing is extremely easy and convenient and much quicker than hooking up a trailer. But we just, I don't know. We don't feel flowing yet. We don't feel like it's flowing. Here we go. Let me, uh, let me put my mic on so I can hear Cindy. That one just locked in. All right. All right. We're locked. Locked and loaded. Let's go. Let me check the brake lights. Are they working? Yep, they're working. At the end of the street, turn left. 